Good morning. This is Matt8-1997 giving you an informational video on the upcoming Perseids meteor shower. This is a meteor shower that comes every year right around uh, mid-August or early August. It is probably one of the most viewed showers of all of them. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's the most viewed shower. It's uh, not necessarily the strongest, but one of the strongest and most viewed, easily seen. It's most viewed probably because of the favorable weather conditions that often occur. Um, it's usually nice and warm and clear and all that. I viewed it last year and the year before that, so I've been viewing for at least two years. This will be going on my third. So. This is a little informational video on it. Um, I'm on spaceweather.com. Uh, spaceweather.com gives you information on what's going on in space, like the solar wind, solar flares, the northern lights, stuff like that. And they're giving us uh, something on the Perseids meteor shower. And uh, so, a little information about it here. I'm going to go ahead and open a uh, notepad because I just like to type in this stuff myself. Alright, so, let me go ahead and bring this up. Format. Come on. Yeah. Alright, just a second. I'm going to go with... So, our peak date will be August, our peak date is August the 12th and the 13th. It has a two day peak. Um, I always view on the uh, August the 12th, I don't know why, but you can also view on the 13th if you would like, but I always pick the 12th. Our maximum meteors per hour or xenophil hourly rate averages around 105. That would be the, uh, for this year. It kind of it fluctuates a little every year. Last year is about 90, so we're expecting maybe a little bit more this year. Uh, your direction to look for most areas will be to your east, but that could change. Time to look after 1 a.m is your best time to see it depending on what your uh, how the moon's going now this year we have on, on the night of the peak it's going to be nearly a full moon so that's really going to uh, be a trouble here during uh, when the moon's high in the sky some meteors could be obscured you might be lucky and you might not get too much uh, obscuring but just note that uh, you want to uh, go out there the best time to do it is when the moon is either low or already set on the horizon. So if you need help figuring out your moon rise set times and to figure exactly exactly the time you should view, uh, give me um, leave a comment because I'll uh, answer those because I can find those easily. So that's what the Perseids is going to be like this year. I'll just uh, before I go, we're going to go ahead and show you a few. pictures of the Perseids. Alright, images. Ah. Okay, here we go. We'll just show you a few uh, charts of uh, how to view it. So it's radiant will be the constellation Perseus, which is right here, and that's where you want to be looking. So, in most areas, it'll be either to your north or to your east, but it could change. It, it could be a little different for certain areas, so that's why, if you really want to be exact, go ahead and contact me, because I, uh, I can find that for you. So, if you have any questions and, or need uh, more information, there'll be uh, the full information will be in the description. I'll uh, put all that information back in. 
If you have any questions about how to view the shower, anything about it, I'll be happy to answer that for you. Alright, see you guys later.